morning everybody and welcome to another episode of YCC Kids, uh, Fruits of the Spirit. Now, we've had three weeks already, this week's week four, I can't believe it. Now, this week's fruit is about faithfulness and we have our fig of faithfulness this week and Lois is going to tell us the story. So today we have another story for you guys and this one is a really cool one. Oh, oh, Lois. Hi Dad. Oh, Lois. Did you, did you tell the story yet? Can I still help you tell the story? Yeah, of course you can. We haven't started yet. Whew! Sorry, I may have forgotten that we're telling a story today. Everything else just isn't happening at the moment because we're stuck at home. And talking about being stuck at home, it seems like it's been so long. When is it going to end? <laughs> when can I see my friends again? Will I be able to go out to the park again and play? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stan, Stan, <sighs> calm down. It's okay. <sighs> Remember when we talked about being patient last week? Yeah, yeah. Well, along with being patient, we also have to be faithful. And we have to trust that God is in control and that he knows what's going on. He is so powerful that he can do anything. We just have to be faithful to him and know that he will have it. <gasps> yeah. yeah, Um, that sounds cool, but um, what, what is faithful? Well, let me tell you. Being faithful means being loyal to someone and fully trusting them, no matter what happens. So even though I couldn't see you earlier, I knew that you were going to turn up because I had faith in you and I trusted that you were going to be here. Oh, okay. So what you mean is... Uh, no, I still don't know what you mean. How can you trust someone even when you can't see them or what they're doing or what's going on? Well, actually, today we're talking about the figure faithfulness. So how about I tell you a Bible story about how someone was faithful to God and that may help you understand. A Bible story? Yay! Okay, so many, many years ago, God decided to build a great nation so that this nation could follow him and bless the world. God chose Abraham as the man that would begin this nation. Sam, have you ever counted the stars in the sky? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah! Well, one time I tried counting the stars and I got to 10 and then I got confused because there's so many. Exactly! There are so many that you can't even count them. And, well, God told Abraham that he was going to have so many descendants, as many as there are stars in the sky. Can you imagine that? That's a lot! So he was going to have so many children and grandchildren that no one could count them. Now, Abraham and his wife believed in God and eventually, God gave them a son. And they called him Isaac. And Abraham and Sarah loved Isaac very, very much. But they loved God even more. And even though Abraham and Sarah loved God and believed what God said, a day came when Abraham was tested. <gasps> a, a test? You mean like in school? <laughs> no, not that kind of test. The testing day was the day that God asked Abraham to do a very difficult thing. He asked him to make a sacrifice. <gasps> oh, what's a sacrifice? Well, during Abraham's time, people showed their love to God by placing food or sometimes an animal that they had killed on an altar burning up. And this was called a sacrifice. Oh, okay. I think I understand now. Good. So God said to Abraham, I want you to give up your only son. And he told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac on the altar. This was a very hard thing for him to do because he loved Isaac so much. But Abraham was also faithful to God. So early the next morning, do you know what he did? What? He took Isaac and all he needed and built an altar. And Isaac asked Abraham, Father, where is this lamb that we're going to use for the sacrifice? And Abraham said, God will take care of it. So then Abraham took Isaac and put him on the altar. <laughs> but suddenly a voice said, Abraham, Abraham, don't hurt the boy. Since you've been so faithful to me, I know that you love God the most. And then Abraham saw a lamb caught up in the bushes that then he used for sacrifice instead of Isaac. And God blessed Abraham so much because he was faithful to the Lord. <gasps> okay, I understand now. So being faithful means to put my trust in Jesus no matter what I'm going through. Yeah. And so when things happen that are out of my control, we should put our trust in Jesus because he can do great things. Exactly. Yay! Wow, thank you Lois and Stan for that amazing story on what faithfulness actually looks like. And to remind us of what faithfulness is, we have a little craft for you guys. So, for this craft, all you just need is 
some papers around the house, plates, whatever you can draw on. Not on the walls, because Bob will be mad. And some colored pencils, markers, whatever it is. And we're gonna be drawing in a fig of faithfulness. So, just color it in. Yeah, looking good. And so, I don't know, something like that. And here on the bottom, you can draw your own star. And that reminds us of the stars up in the sky that God told Abraham about, indicating how many descendants he will have, kind of as a promise or a reminder, kind of what we're doing. So you could write in your star, talking about how you're a faithful friend of God, how Abraham is a faithful friend of God. And at the end, it'll look something like this. So after you have your craft, cut it out, and you have your fig of faithfulness and just hang it up on your tree. And you can look at it every day or on Christmas, and it'll just remind you about the fruit of the Spirit, about being faithful. Hope to see you guys next week. Bye.